So this is an eldest Crusader cyclone. I'm going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. In front of the van, you've got your jockey wheel, hitch, and handbrake. That's all stuff we'll go through in person here on site. Front locker, you have two six kilogram gas bottle tie downs. Um, so you can basically carry a maximum of 12 kilo on board the van of gas. However, you do need to make sure they are in two six kilo bottles and not one large 12 kilo bottle. Um, you will need to use propane on this particular van rather than butane. Uh, so it works properly with the heating and hot water system on board the van. Side of the van, you've got your Aldi heating flue. You've got your wind down leg on either side of the van. So you've got one on this side and one on the opposite side. You've got your water pump connection, which pushes into the side of the van, as you can see here. And your water pump drops down inside the aqua roll. You've then got your toilet locker on the side of the van. Um, so in here you've got your toilet waste cassette, which takes, uh, which is just the uh, toilet waste cassette, sorry. In there you put one litre of water prior to use and a capful of the blue fluid. You'll pull the cassette out with the orange handle at the bottom to allow the waste cassette to come out. You've got the turnout neck on top to tip the waste away. And on the back of the set, cassette you've got an orange pressure relief button so when you are tipping the waste away it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. The motor mover will be demonstrated to you here on site so you can see how that works and we'll take through the operation of that. The wheel nuts will be torqued before the caravan leaves site to the correct torque setting. You've got your two fridge vents on the side of the caravan. The two fridge vents are essentially there to allow hot, allow hot air at the back of the fridge unit and behind one of these is also a gas flue itself. Side of the van, you've got your grey waste pipe, so the fresh water that goes in the front of the van. You'll have two, uh, you've got two larger circles here on the outside to allow the pipes to go into place um, and that is your waste water for the uh, fresh water system on board the van. Back of the van on either side, you've got your two wind down legs to stabilise the caravan while it's on site. Uh, you'd never use these legs for lifting the caravan. It is just there for stabilising the van uh, while it's on site. Like I said, the motor mover and wheels will torque the wheel nuts and we'll take you through the motor mover. Uh, battery locker, you've got your battery connections on uh, red and blue battery connections there, so you're positive and negative. And you've got your mains power lead coming to the side of the van. You've got your storage locker for underneath the front seating, uh, for underneath the front seating area. Get your wind down leg again for this side of the van and your barbecue gas point. Going to the inside of the van to operate the water uh, to turn on the main power inside the caravan, you've got your main 12 volt switch here, which will turn on all the power inside the caravan. You've got your lounge lights for the front of the caravan, you've got your locker light and your awning light for the outside of the caravan. Voltmeter on this side to tell you how much power is in the battery on board the van and the water percentage of the water that's in the onboard tank. To fill the onboard water system, you're gonna first need to come into the seat on the right hand side at the front of the van. And to fill the water system, you're gonna to need to make sure the yellow valve is in the parallel to the floor position to be able to fill the water system on board the van. And you're also gonna to need to make sure the tap here is in the closed position rather than the open position. If both of these, if that yellow valve is in the upright position pointing towards the bottom of the seat and the valve there says open, all of the water will drain out straight underneath the caravan and it will not fill the water system up on board the van. So to fill the system, you're first of all, you're gonna come over to every, uh, make sure them valves are in the right positions underneath the seat. Come over to your taps on board the caravan come over to all your taps on board the caravan and open them all on the hot side of the water system. Once all the taps are open on the hot side, you come over to your water pump, turn on your water pump just here. So you need to have both these switches on and it'll fill the onboard water system for the caravan. And when the water system is completely full, you'll have water running continuously out of every tap on the caravan. At that point, you can shut all of the taps off with the water flowing out of every tap continuously and you'll then be able to start warming the water on board the caravan. So like I said, two drain down valves need to be in the closed position, so the yellow one parallel with the floor, and the blue one on the onboard water tank needs to say closed on the valve rather than open. If it says open, or the yellow valve is pointing upwards, all of the water from the onboard system will drain straight onto the floor underneath the caravan. To turn on the control panel for the older heating system, you press the on button just here in the corner. So as you can see, it's come up with Aldi on the screen. Press the menu button and it will take us into our options. So you've got your room temperature for the caravan, plus and minus. 
you've got your water temperature, so you've got water on and water boost when this is green here. So that's water on and water boost. Below that, you've got the amount of power that's coming into the caravan from the caravan site you're on. So the only way you'll know how much power you've got coming into the caravan is by asking the site office when you arrive on site. So for instance, you may have one kilowatt, two kilowatt, or three kilowatt coming into the caravan. Here on site, we can run a maximum of one kilowatt. So that is what we're gonna run the system on at the moment. If you want to run the heating and hot water system on gas, you can also do that. You've got off here or on, and the gas system will ignite on gas um, when prompted to, as long as the gas bottle is turned on. Like I said, with the power supply coming to the van, that, that is only relevant to the heating and hot water systems on board the caravan. It does not control any other feature of the caravan power-wise. If you want to turn everything off, we turn off the water, turn the temperature down to five, five degrees, and turn off the turn the power to the off position and essentially your heating and hot water will be completely turned off. You have got some options in here if you ever need to go into there for setting programs for the heating and hot water systems and heating and hot water systems. So there's some options in there for the heating and hot water systems for setting timers etc for the control panel. Next up we're going to go to the fridge system on board the caravan. To operate the fridge you've got power on just here. And you've got your 240 mains option, so you can run mains power through the heating and hot, uh, for the fridge system. You can control the temperature of the fridge on the button on the right hand side here. And essentially, as long as you connect it to mains, the blue light will stay solid blue, and that will allow you to operate on the mains power. If you want to run the fridge on gas, you can also do that. You can press the gas button here. If the gas is turned on in the front locker and you've bled the system by getting the gas through to the hob first, then the fridge will self ignite on gas. If it ever fails to ignite, it'll actually flash the blue pilot light here. And it'll also flash the red warning light on the opposite side, just here with the triangle on it and the exclamation mark. And that is essentially a fail light to let you know it has failed to ignite. On 240 mains or gas, you control the temperature on the temperature control on the right hand side. To operate the fridge as a cool box while you're towing down the road, you can set the fridge to 12 volt mode. That will only work if you have a car connected at the front of the van, so like when you're towing down the road, the fridge will work as a cool box to get the beers and wine nice and cold. As you can see at the moment, it's flashing at me to let me know there is no power source coming from a car at the front of the van. It will stop after a few seconds, you've just heard, it probably will start again in a moment. But essentially that is just there, um, so that is there to operate the fridge as a cool box. It does not completely chill the fridge and it does not freeze the freezer compartment at all on 12 volt mode. Microwave above, very simple to use. For instance, select one minute, hit start, and away you go. Wait for your meal to be done. So that works very much like your household uh, microwave itself. You then have an electric ring on your cooker. We do advise you make sure the electric rings and the electric ring and the three gas rings are completely cold before you shut this lid down. If you shut it down and they're still warm, it could potentially smash the glass lid itself. 240 ring will only work on mains and the gas will work off gas as long as you've got a gas bottle connected. Same with the cooker, you've got your electric light, light in, that'll actually run off your 12 volt supply and you've got the igniter on the front for the hob, grill, oven, etc. Bed lifts for storage as you can see, so you can access the storage underneath the van and your leg winder is also in there for putting the legs down on the caravan. Coming to the bathroom on this particular caravan, have an electric flush on the toilet system, just here, so electric flush. You've got a full indicator light to let you know when the toilet waste cassette is completely full underneath the caravan. And down the front of the toilet, you have your toilet waste flap. So essentially when this toilet waste flap is in this position here, the toilet waste will go straight into the cassette under the van. If it's across, um, then it won't allow any waste to go into that cassette. We do advise when you finish using the loo that you shut that off just so no smells come inside the caravan and when you're using the load to make sure it is completely open. The toilet seat itself does actually turn for your convenience, so you can turn it through 90 degrees on this particular van. However, when you are emptying the toilet waste cassette from underneath the van, you need to make sure the toilet cassette, uh, toilet seat is pointing straight across towards the door for the caravan itself. The reason being is that it has two lockout tabs on the toilet cassette that will stop the toilet cassette from being removed when the toilet seat is turned. Essentially, so if the toilet is being used, no waste gets into the toilet locker on the outside. 
So that is the Eldest Crusader Cyclone. If you have any further questions on the caravan, please don't hesitate to contact us here at the caravan company and we'd be more than happy to help. We appreciate your business and we look forward to seeing you here on site when you collect your caravan. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.